From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Hello, I'm student meteorologist Ryan Gold, and if you're like me, you've been enjoying this trend of below average temperatures we've been seeing. Now that's going to continue through the rest of this week and into next week, but we do have a coastal system that's moving its way north, which could potentially lead to a weekend washout. And what could that mean for the football game? But first, I want to talk about these below normal temperatures. Across the state, we are seeing the continued trend of below average temperatures. So we've been seeing that for quite a while now, which is very opposite from what we've been seeing earlier in the month with above normal temperatures. So we're canceling each other out and getting a nice average even feel throughout. But here in State College of 46 around here, around 3 o'clock here on Wednesday earlier this day, uh, normal temperatures around here is around 60 degrees, but 46 here, it's extremely below average for this time of year. In terms of precipitation coming in the future, we can expect not a whole lot here in State College, but the fringes in the north and northwest and northeast, they're going to be experiencing some showers, some snow showers, and even some wintry mixes throughout. But we can expect mostly just clouds here in State College for now until that system comes in on the weekend. Now, in terms of tonight, a really cold 32 degrees with partly, uh, partly cloudy skies, sorry. Uh, this is a perfect time to get snuggled in a bed with a cup of cocoa and uh, watch the latest Netflix show. And in terms of tomorrow, we'll be experiencing warmer weather, and this is going to be the warmest we'll see for this week. And uh, you'll definitely want to get out there and enjoy the fall fields. Now, about this coastal storm. This is moving its way up from the south, and it's going to be bringing a lot of precipitation with it. Now, while most of the bulk precipitation will be coming out here over the Atlantic Ocean, we can still experiencing a lot of precipitation here. Uh, definitely some wintry mixes uh, around where the mountains are, and we might even see a flake or two this weekend. Now, in terms of football, this storm is going to be coming in Friday night into Saturday, so your tailgate will definitely be wet. So be sure to have a tarp to cover up your grill. And when kickoff starts at 3.30, still be showering, and that's going to lead all the way until the end of the fourth quarter. So we'll be experiencing really cold, really wet conditions. So bring a jacket and bring a poncho. Now, in terms of the seven day, we can see here on Fri uh, Thursday, sorry, that's going to be our warmest day, as I said, with mostly sunny skies. So you're going to want to soak that up as much as you can. And then Friday is partly sunny, and that night is when the clouds are going to start rolling in. That coastal system is going to be moving its way in from the south on Friday into Saturday and tackling us for the football game. On Saturday, it's going to be cold and rainy, and that's going to continue all the way till Monday when we get the fringes of it, and that's just going to be scattered showers. And then we'll lead to some relatively sunny conditions later on and a pretty spooky, mostly cloudy day for Halloween next Wednesday. From the Campus Weather Service, I'm Ryan Gold.